This is how much I've lost with Jenny Craig. 34 kilos of pizza. Now I've lost the weight, I feel dangerous, serious. I've got so much energy to do. If I anything I want. Guys, put the pizza down, pick up the phone, and call Jenny. Yeah, definitely. We uh, we need a you know a, a really good contest from Scott tomorrow night. Um, their, their back line has, has been on fire and great at rebounding the ball out. So yeah, Scott will have to uh, beat his best just to you know make a good contest uh, tomorrow night. A lot's been made of the closeness of the competition. How do you sort of assess the Geelong's form? Uh, obviously, they lost the Collingwood, but they down pretty strongly last week. Yeah, the Geelong were terrific against us and you know gave us a real footy lesson around the ball and um, you know beat us up around the contest. So. Uh, then move the ball better than we did, but um, you know, as you said, the, the the season seems to be changing week by week, and the best teams seem to be changing week by week. And Geelong is certainly you know right up there again. It seemed like uh, you guys couldn't match Geelong's swarming pressure early on. I think they laid they laid about 11 tackles in the first two minutes or so. How are you going to combat this tomorrow night? Yeah, I think it's very you can't. Um, change another side's pressure. That's their intent. That's the way they play. You've just got to actually match it yourself in terms of what your pressure is. And um, I found last Friday night that you know, their pressure or credit to them was great. Um, ours wasn't at their level. If we can get it to their level, then uh, then you're a better chance in games. Just back to Stuart Grimm, what do you have to do in the next 24 hours? Yeah, we'll run him today and, and hopefully um, you know he'll, he'll get through that. I'm not sure he'll get through it. Just He just has to loosen up, really. I, after our injuries this year, I'm not keen to play guys who are tight um, and, and a bit sore. So, so we'll have to get get him through without any tightness um, today. If he plays tomorrow, so is that a matter of naming him and giving him a test tomorrow morning? Or... Uh, we'll train him today, and if he comes up well, we'll name him. And if he gets through training today and a bit of a run around, um, we'll then give him another session tomorrow. But um, yeah, no doubt we'll probably name him and, and see uh, where we go from there. Yeah, Mizey got a really bad knock on his calf in the, I think it was the last quarter, and it's pulled up pretty sore. So there's another one we'll, we'll uh, maybe early in the year we would have taken the risk with him, but after everything that's happened, we'll be a bit conservative. So it doesn't really count for the soft tissue epidemic? Uh, I think a knock's probably a little bit different to, yeah, to, a, to a strain, so yeah. With Cramer, you said you've been cautious rather than it being the old as an extension. <laughs> No, I just think it's a guy who hasn't played a lot of footy and hasn't been able to train a lot. It's pulled up tight after a more intense game of footy, a really fast game, hard game, and um, hasn't backed up that well after the game. Unfortunately for Stu, he hurt his knee in the Brisbane game, which I think was round, I don't know, round six, round seven this year. And it really prevented his training for five or six weeks and was able to play. So there's only so long guys get away with that for. Um, and uh, yeah, we, I just want to be careful with him, make sure that we don't blow his season. Uh, you, look, you just don't know, Callum. I mean, you, you can you can leave guys in the grandstand every week who are a bit tight and a bit sore, and um, you've got to make a decision. It's a it's a week to week decision. Some guys get through, some guys don't. But you know, he got through the game. It's just he's pulled up tight. We'll, we'll wait and see. It's a good chance uh, we'll give Elliot a game. We'll, we'll wait and see um, just how other players come up. But Elliot's deserved his game. Um, he's he's been fantastic in the reserves for the last probably six weeks. Um, consistently got better. So, yeah, depending on what happened with some other guys, we'd be keen to give them a run. And, uh, They're both fine, um, up for selection. And, and you know, it's been an interesting session today. We've got a lot of guys who are either coming back from injury or, or a bit sore. And it's one of those days where we'll, you know, make some, make some uh, decisions um, probably at the end of training tomorrow rather than, you know, have it all decided this afternoon. Yeah, I thought Tate's game in the reserves last week was the best he's played. Um, but since he's been, since he had an injury, I think it was Anzac Day he got injured, so it's the best he's played since then. Just took the game on, real aggression. Um, you know, Tate's injury worries with his foot and then his his um, his organ injury. You know, a couple of years ago, it's taken him a while to get over it, and we found the weekend that he's back to his aggressive best. So he's uh, definitely a chance this week. He's closer, yeah. He's closer than he was last week. Got through. Um, yeah, I think Jason will play. You know, it'd be great to have him back in the team. And um, I, uh, yeah, I think it's very exciting for him that he's. It's 18 months for knee reconstruction, um, which is a bit longer than normal. Uh, but uh, be, I think everyone's really happy to have him. You know, close to being back, if not back. Yeah, a bit of trepidation in his mind at least.
least have had making his senior I'm sure there would be. I'm sure that, you know, if you haven't played for eight months, but he's played, what did he play? He played a, a NAB Cup game early in the year, played a couple of reserves games, played the last three or four reserve games. So he's, he's on his first game of footy, it's just his first game on the big stage, but you know, he's played a lot of footy and I'm sure he'll know what to do when he gets out there. Look, it's essential. I mean, if you in, in games against the best teams, which Hawthorne's one of them, if you can't apply pressure to the opposition, then you, you can't win. So there's no doubt our pressure has to be at its best, um, and particularly with the skill level Hawthorne got. And I, I think a lot of clubs have tried different things and haven't been successful. I mean, some clubs have gone one-on-one -on -one and had 130 points kicked against them. Some clubs have zoned them and tried to, to press on them and still had over 100 points kicked against them. So... It's a challenge, uh, a great skillful team and you know, and we'll have to be at our best to be competitive. Just in your plan of that game, you've been thinking that, that Hodge or Franklin might return for uh, You always plan for them. Um, you know, I don't know, and it's probably, probably we'll, we'll pick players, you know, as we always would. You know, we'll pick for Buddy to play and Hodge to play, but um, we won't know what's six o'clock tonight, whether they're playing or not, and we can make some decisions after that. I think it's a lot of those things. I think we've turned the ball over in poor areas. Um, you know, high on our 50, we've turned the ball over, which makes the ground very hard to defend against good teams. Um, our, our pressure, our perceived pressure, our ability to defend at the contest has dropped off. Um, and it's left our backs exposed. So I don't think it's, a, it's necessarily a back six thing. I think it's an all-across-the-ground desire to defend, and um, that, that hasn't been as good the last four weeks as it has been probably the first half of the year. Okay, just from a training perspective, you noticed this, just this week that Geelong might have taped off and now building up again. Have you guys sort of, uh, I guess, had a low load lately or a high load or anything? <laughs> What have we had? We haven't been able to train that much at all, really. I think we've been mindful of, of the injuries we've got, um, and we've we've certainly backed off our training over the last two or three weeks to just to come up for the games. Hasn't worked that well, but um, we, uh, yeah, uh, different clubs are in different stages. We've got some guys coming back from injury. We've done a lot of hard hard work. Some guys have played the the whole season who aren't able to train as much with little niggles. So, it, I don't think you can say it's a whole club thing, but certain players are training harder than others at our club at the moment. Uh, yeah, Brent's been tagged really heavily the last six weeks um, and we've got to help him out with that and, and it's a reality of, of being a really good player that you get, get pressure put on you. Uh, unfortunately for him, with David Zaharakis out, um, it probably narrows the focus more onto him. Um, you know, sort of that, that hard-running midfield that gets tagged, but like all the good players, he's got to work through it and we've got to help him through it to a certain extent, but you know, he's still been valuable to us in the defensive side of his game, um, making sure that his, his man doesn't get the ball, he's tackling his pressure and still getting his 20-22 you know, positions, just not getting his 35s, which he was getting earlier in the year. Mark's knees pulled up a bit sore again, um, but nothing bad. We'll give him a week off this week and, and roll him in uh, what next week. Yeah. James, last week You'd have to ask Job that, but I'm sure, like every normal person, um, it's, got to, it's got to weigh heavily on you. And he, um, I think his grandfather lived with the family for six, seven years, five or six years ago, very close to his grandfather. Um, and, yeah, he's very upset before the game and, and still very upset on the funerals today. So um, a bit of closure there for the family. But, uh, yeah, when someone very close to you passes away, as tough as you think you are or as much uh, as we want to be good footballers, it's not as important as, as life. And... And, and those important things. So yeah, it was a very disappointing, sad day for the Watson family all round last uh, last Friday. Any other consideration of, of sitting him out or anything like that? Like that? Um, I mean, I just asked Job before the game, "Do you want to play?" And he said yes, and that was the that was the decision. Yeah, Job's a, a fantastic footballer, a great person, and a, and knows himself better than anyone. So, and uh, you know, his performance uh, on Friday night, although it wasn't his best for the year, he certainly held up his own end and. You know, turn the ball over a little bit, but um, I thought the way he fought the game out and, and led the team to the end was uh, was very good. Jason, um, first down from coming go, obviously. What does the Hawthorne rivalry mean to you? 
Oh uh, yeah, look, it's uh, as a kid growing up, I hated Hawthorne as much as you know, more than any team. Um, Dermot Brett and Dipper, the whole lot. You know, it was a it was a great great day at the G when you go and watch her at Waverley, when you go and watch Hawthorne Essendon. Um, I think there's been some great contests. Uh, you know, when I was playing with Hawthorne, um, I think 2000. And, Eight or nine, when there was a big game. I'm not sure what I wasn't around the club then. Was it was a big game? So, yeah, there's a lot of history with with the two clubs. Um, I think both clubs, well, particularly from our point of view, I can't talk about Hawthorne, but we're worried about you know playing well in the game, not a rivalry at the moment. This this game is a uh, is a really important game for both clubs and, and where they want to finish this year. And um, yeah, the rivalry is one thing, but getting the four points I think is more important. You always felt something special. I did, yeah, yeah, no, I. Uh, I don't like Hawthorne. I didn't like Hawthorne very much at all when I was a, a, um, a supporter of Eston. They used to beat us up when I was a kid, and I used to love playing against them. But it's different as a coach. You know, you're just coaching the coaching the coaching the boys out in the ground and coaching the method and the way they go about it. Does the spirit that you had in, in your boys then? I hope so. Mm. Just uh, mindful that you having goals tomorrow night changes the way you work on Hawthorne. Yeah, I think we've we've talked all year about really for us as the, the side we are, young side. Um, the more we can beat good teams like Hawthorne or compete and play well and, and hopefully beat Hawthorne or teams like Hawthorne, um, the more important that is going forward in our development. So, um, yes, there's a top four chance there if we, if we win the game, but it's more about um, how we perform against the form team of the competition. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.